What's going on guys with the Oracle Sector on fire chain link is exploding band is doing well What are some of the other Oracle projects that you need to keep an eye on it could be very undervalued Let's hop right right into it as we discuss Gora All right, as you know, Gora Network is a new Oracle provider for this cryptocurrency ecosystem. Right now, it is only on Algorand Network. Now, although that does limit some of the users and the use cases of this Oracle, it is proving uh, a good development ground and a good testing ground. They have found quite the following, 67,000 followers, with just being on Algorand Network, Tiny Man Dex, and MEXC. That is very important. Gora is a decentralized Oracle network powered by that Gora token as we can see everything is super busy we got ama spaces we got announcements we got partnership announcements we got daily updates on the network strength and the in the token economics around that 31 cents here and we got support from tiny man themselves which is the top decks on algorand we also have seen that algorand foundation did take an additional investment in gora just a few days ago that tells you the tech is legitimate the projects and the devs on Algorand are wanting to use this Oracle provider due to its throughput, its speeds, its low fees, and its new way of approaching the Oracle sector. To continue on, let's go ahead and check out their website. Get sports data on chain, weather, NFT data, whatever it may be. You guys know what Oracle providers do if you're familiar with Chainlink, with Band Protocol, with uh, Pith, and some of these other ones. All of which have much larger market capitalizations than Gora. Scroll here, website looking great, roadmap, they're following that, the partner list, Valhalla, Blackman, Borderless, Algorand Foundation, Cointelegraph, uh, I think Cointelegraph made them like an up and coming project, like put them in their incubation kind of section of their blog posts, Big Brain Holdings, Expand Capital, Paracapital, and the list goes on, and O'Farum Network was the lead in, uh, advisor and incubation advisor for them. Obviously, I was part of that. Features in Crypto Slate, Brave New Coin, DeFi Planet, Coin Telegraph, and more. Let's come up here. Let's look at some of the solutions that they offer currently. Gora's digital revolution for a connected world. Welcome to Gora, dedicated to pioneering pioneering technical technological solutions that redefine industries and elevate standards. Within the expansive realm of Gora's offerings, we present a suite of specialized platforms, each designed to cater to diverse needs and push the boundaries of innovation. Come down here, they got vehicle telematics. This could be interesting, you know, like Tesla and automated driving, that's a big, big on the scene right now. I wonder how that works if they're providing the data points from all these various nodes or cars in the ecosystem. Identity Gora, never really been solved yet, although blockchain technology is great for transparency. The actual individual identity tied to a source blockchain code and data set hasn't really happened. You see creditworthiness, identity verification, personal information, membership status, income status, account information. I know I don't know about you, but whenever you're going to get a loan and you got to provide all this information to the bank, it is a pain to dig up all that information. If you had it tied to a data set, your personal data set, that would be very helpful. Emissions Goro, this is very big. We saw Elon Musk talking about carbon credits again recently. And that is what uh, it looks like Gora is kind of attacking there. I know that Gorify is in um, testing right now. So they're bringing DeFi uh, platform utilizing the Gora's Oracle. And then I know EVM compatibility is coming. Now this is a big one because early in the video, I said they've done very well for the fact that they're only on Algorand. And though I think Algorand stand in cycles and it could continue to grow and it's super fast. A lot of people don't have access to Algorand right now. They have access to EVM compatible chains and Ethereum in specific. There is already a test net going on where Gore is working on bringing their technology to Ethereum and EVM compatible chains like Polygon, Arbitrum, and the list goes on. But not only that, bringing the Gora token itself to make it an ERC-20 that can be bought, traded, utilized, delegated on EVM compatible chains primarily ethereum that would be huge for user growth speculator growth and the number of tokens that would find them their way delegated turn that sweet apr and, and ensure the data accuracy on this oracle provider talking about that if you hop over here to app.goracle.io you go to validators 2 you can see here this is where you delegate your goro tokens you connect your wallet you can delegate 
to any of these nodes to earn 17% APR paid out in Gora. So you're earning 17% APR based on your Gora, paid out in Gora. What happens when Gora price doubles? Well, really, that 17% is now 34% APR. Do the math if it triples, quadruples, or even 10Xs. Because the Gora total market capitalization right now is around $2 million. If you look at Chainlink, you look at Pith, you look at Band Protocol, once Gora, cool, Gora goes on EVM compatible chains, gets added to Ethereum, gets added to Polygon, gets added to Arbitrum, continues to support Algorand, and they get a few more clients, what happens to that token price? That's for you guys to say because this is not financial advice, but this is why I delegate my Gora tokens here on their validator portal, and I always choose to delegate here to Ferrum Network, the number one validator on Gora. The entire Learn Crypto community is in here, the Ferrum Network community is in here, and they have been rewarded as the number one validator based on voting power. That is because they have over 330,000 Gora stake. Now, although the commission is slightly higher, 10% versus some competitors at 5%, Yes, you are earned slightly less um, Gora rewards, but you are supporting a project that we support in Ferrum Network. This means that this commission will be used by Ferrum Network to help pump your FRM bags. That's a win-win in my book since we hold both of these tokens. <laughs> Let's go quickly to the token economics because people want to know what's going on with the tokens. Is this a good time to get involved? Now, I was saying to buy at $0.16 cents to $0.18. Cents. We're in the pre-sale at $0.20. Cents. You can see the low was here, down around $0.16. Cents. And over the past few months, we have continued to stair-step higher, now around $0.30. Cents. There has been wicks on the exchanges up to $0.35, $0.36, and even $0.30 cents for Gora. Again, the real value is going to come from when they, A, get on Ethereum and other EVM chains. The test net is happening right now. So that is coming very soon. When that happens, this thing is going to do very, very well. Why? Because that 90% of the crypto market has access to Ethereum network and EVM chains. How? What percentage of the crypto market has access to Algorand? Maybe 10%? It's just a, a objectivity of numbers, guys. It's a numbers game. If that many more people can see Gora and participate on the Gora network, the, the chance that this token price does well is very good. On top of that, on top of that, let's look here at the distribution methods. So here's kind of, you know, utilities of the token. That's great. Purchase data and computational power. So when clients want to be, utilize the Oracle, they will need the Gora token. Or if they pay in stables, guess what? A percentage of those revenues are used to buy back the Gora token. Then to use that to distribute to delegators. That way there is no inflation on this token. Also, they are talking about burning to become a deflationary mechanism on Gora, just like we see with Ethereum, BNB, Cake, so many, so many of these very successful projects. Participating in consensus, this is when you delegate your tokens, you're helping to provide consensus for the data on the Oracle provider. Governance, this is going to be fleshed out a little more, so of course you see we have that voting power. So when they make big decisions like becoming EVM compatible, the governance and those who are delegating get votes. Validators can vote for that network. We see this a lot on Cosmos with Adam and Juno and Osmo. And then, of course, delegating votes. This is where you, as a small token holder, can delegate your votes. I recommend the Ferrum Network Validator to earn 17% APR. Now, as far as the token distribution, yes, this was a pre-sale. But why does this excite me? The strategic round, the whitelist round, the node sale round, and the public round are already fully vested. That means all the investors in the pre-sale of this token have received all of their tokens. So if there's weak hands or profit takers, they are already out. The remaining have all delegated the tokens for the 17% APR and are strong hands. So you don't have to worry about daily vesting periods still going on and people selling those tokens for profits. They've already received all their tokens. Now, as far as the seed round, they have not received any tokens yet. They're on a 12-month cliff. This means that they're not getting their first tokens until July of 2024. That gives us another six months before they even start to see tokens. And then it's not in big clumps. They're going to be daily vested over another 12 months. And also these people are early investors like Algorand Foundation who believe in Gora and need to utilize their technology. So there's a high probability that these investors, instead of just selling small minuscule amounts every day for a year, are going to actually be participating and delegating, setting up their own validator to earn that APR, to provide a consensus uh, for the data, and to actually utilize the data and the Oracle services that Gora provides. That is really it. That's a quick overview of Gora. Is there any other tabs here that interest you guys? Let's look up here. You can go to the resources and, and learn more. 
community and learn more. Um, and the about page, if you would like. Again, check out their Twitter, Gora Network. Of course, Gora is a sponsor of Learn Crypto. But this isn't why I'm talking about this. The Oracle sector is hot right now, and Gora is one that is undervalued and is now doubled off the lows while paying 17% APR and is still sitting here at only a $2 million market capitalization. I believe there's major upside potential in Gora, especially immediately when they launch on the Ethereum network and expand to other EVM chains. And I think that is coming sooner than most people think based on the results of the test net going on right now. If you like daily updates on crypto and stock, technical analysis, fundamental and news, make sure to hit that like, share and subscribe button and stay tuned right here at Learn Crypto.